Hello, everybody. This is Brad on YouTube again, and I want to wish everybody a happy new year. This is my first video um, of 2011, and what better way to start the year off than with a fragrance review? And this will be on a fragrance from a house called Valentino. It's called The Valentino Pour Ohm. A two milliliter sample. Uh, this is the inside of the card. I don't have the bottle. I just got a two milliliter sample. And uh, this is an oriental woody fragrance that was released back in 2006. And the notes on this one. Top notes of tamarind, pink pepper, mandarin orange, basil, and bergamot. Middle notes of sandalwood, amber, musk and cedar. And at the base we have caraway. Patchouli, vanilla, jasmine, heliotrope, cacao, and amber. And over base notes, the um, breakdown was 19 positives, 5 neutral, and 2 negatives. So that was actually a pretty good uh, vote uh, for thumbs up on this one. Uh, so, what do I get out of this one? Uh, well, first of all, when I initially applied this fragrance to my skin, it kind of almost reminds me of like a very sweet, almost like an extreme version of Animori. I get a lot of like the floral, citrus, vanilla, but uh, I don't know, after just a few minutes, uh, everything just kind of tones down, and what I'm left with is like a very sweet vanilla with some spice and... Uh, like a musk note in there too. Um, now normally I wouldn't endorse anything like this. I mean this is basically to me has like a cotton candy sweet vanilla note in there. Very sweet um, and maybe not for everybody. But I will say this about the Valentino. Um, because of that musk note and the spices the, uh, the overall effect is actually a, a bit more pleasant than I would have expected. I mean, I uh, I did a review of Blue Sugar Man, which uh, kind of has that similar cotton candy type sweetness to it. But this one um, kind of makes it a little bit more mature, you know, more wearable for for like an older person. It's um, certainly something that pretty much anybody could wear, not just like, you know, a teenager or college person. This is, I think, more geared towards... Uh, 20s and 30s crowd. A lot of people are saying this is sort of like a romantic evenings fragrance. Definitely, I think would be suitable for cooler weather. Um, so I would say if you like uh, cotton candy sweet fragrances, and when I say that, I'm of course referring to either Blue Sugar Man or um, dare I say Givenchy's Pie, which I also put into that type of. Uh, ultra sweet category. Um, I want to check this one out. Um, like, I mean, considering that it has that cotton candy um, vanilla accord in there, I think Valentino did pretty much all they could with it to make it, you know, as good as possible under the circumstances. Like I said, maybe not everybody wants something that's sweet, but um, if you had to have something that smell like cotton candy. I think they did it right with this one here. Um, I'm not sure if I would rush out and buy a bottle myself. Uh, as far as the smell goes, I might give it about 7 out of 10. Um, maybe a little bit too sweet for my nose, but certainly, I mean, I've worn it once, and, you know, I didn't have a problem with it. I think it's a workable fragrance for, for people that like uh, sweet vanillas. Um, and... If you're out of high school, even out of college, um, something that might might suit you. So think about that one. Um, I'm not sure if I would call it a gourmand. Kind of, if I guess if cotton candies are gourmand, um, yeah, sort of like a gourmand. Uh, so that's pretty much my take on this one. Uh, I don't think anybody else has been talking about this one, but uh, yeah, something to think about. Talk to you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching. See you.